everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog. Now this vlog is my September plans vlog where I talk to you about some of the things I'd like to get done in the month of September. Now this won't be an exhaustive list of everything I'm going to sew and as all good plans they can be flexible and be changed but these are the things that I really want to focus on this month. There may be things that come in between if I get distracted by shiny new patterns etc um, but yeah these are my firm plans. So before I talk to you about my plans I'll just tell you what I'm wearing. This is the Rosalie dress by Fibre Mood which is a smock style dress very floaty um, bias bound neckline and these beautiful frilly sleeves so I got this pattern as part of a fabric godmother subscription box um, I'll link the unboxing to that up here somewhere um, and I got the fabric in a beyond the pink door think pink subscription box which I'll also link up if you want to see but yeah this fabric was a, is a ditzy print which I'm not normally a fan of but I really love the colours in this and I just was very inspired by the fabric and made it up pretty much as soon as I got it and the weather is perfect today for this it's very warm in the UK at the moment and I just needed something really floaty not clingy um, and pretty so I'll put a picture in at the full length so you can see it so what have I got planned for September? Well, the biggest thing that I um, have ruling my plans for September is the Dressmakers Ball. So the Dressmakers Ball is hosted by the Crafty So-and-So. I went to it last year and had an absolute blast. I'll put a photograph in of what I wore last year. Um, it was a neat, very easy Vogue dress that I made. Can't remember what the number was, but yeah, this is the one that I made and I loved it. Um, this year though, I have more grand plans and I am going with a very easy Vogue again which is this one very easy Vogue 9259 now the dressmakers ball is on the 23rd of September so it's two weeks away as of filming this video now next week I have a whole week off work which is where I plan to get my dressmakers ball outfit completed now the dressmakers ball is a big ball where um, people who purchase tickets come, they make their own outfits and it's just a wonderful social event for dressmakers with a passion for dressmaking come together and have a really nice food, drinks and get to show off their um, outfits. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. Now, I have already twirled this and um, made it in the, in the biggest size that I had in the packet, which was a size 12 and it's still a bit too tight for me. So I am going to bite the bullet and although I've been really, doing really well on my health kick of exercising, etc., I still need to make the next size up. So I have purchased the next size up um, pattern because the one that I had was, only went up to a 12. And I'm going to make the size 14 because I think that's probably what I need around the waist. I'll probably keep it at a 12 up top but go for a 14 on the waist and the bottom. So that's what I'm going to be making. Um, I have talked about this several times on other vlogs so I don't want to talk about it too much. But the fabric that I'm going to be making it in is this fabric, which is um, a, le um, a satin leopard print jacquard, which is um, double sided. So it's got, um, or reversible you might want to say, on one side it's gold with, or bronze with purple, and on the other side it's purple with bronze. I think I like the bronze with purple spots, is my favourite. So that's going to make up the main jumpsuit. I'm going for the long version here. And then the plan is to make a tall skirt, over skirt, that is detachable. Um, so the main priority on my week off is to get the jumpsuit made up and perfected. And then I will pop into my local fabric store, which is where I got the sample tool from. Let me just grab that. This is the tool that I've decided to pair with it. So that will be an over skirt that goes over the top on a waistband and that will be detachable. So I need to go and collect that from um, my local fabric store. And I need to get about 10 metres of that. So, yeah, that's going to be an exciting experiment. Now, I don't know what this is going to look like. It is an experiment. It might not work out. And if it doesn't work out, I'll just wear my jumpsuit. That's fine. But I want to try this because I've had this vision in my head. So, yeah. So, next week, when I'm on my week off, I will be just focusing on my um, dressmaker's ball dress. So, my next plan is to finish my catch-all caddy. So, this catch-all caddy is... Um, by a pattern by Annie and I have been really inspired by Adam from um, Adam Sews he makes these and sells them and he makes them in some gorgeous Tula pink fabrics and um, they're absolutely gorgeous and he's really inspired me to have a go myself so this is the catch-all caddy 
and I have already started to um, make mine so I've done a lot of cutting out at the moment I've got these pieces here which I still need to quilt got this piece here so laid between foam and this piece here so I need to quilt those and I've got my contrasting fabric for the binding here which I think looks really nice with the um, greens and minty colours so that's my um, binding fabric and yeah so I've gone with this very lovely serene namaste fabric that I got as some fat quarters from a So Hayley Jane um, subscription box um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to getting that made up I think I have underestimated how much work it is that the instructions are very 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 in-depth and there's a lot of work to go into it I'm sure once you've done it once it's straightforward but yeah this is going to take me a lot longer than I thought it was going to going to take but that is my September plan as well and this catch-all caddy is for me to have all my sewing paraphernalia in so I can have it neat and tidy in my sewing room and it's not all scattered in boxes and things it's all just in one central place and then when I go to my sewing socials I can just pick up my catch-all caddy and take it with me and I haven't got to do this all this unpacking and making sure I've got everything now my third plan is a plan that's always on the agenda it's my little miss so-and-so all set to sew luxury luxury so luxurious subscription box that i am gifted as part of my role as a brand ambassador now i've selected my fabric the fabrics come it was delivered last week and i've already cut it out and it's i'm really excited to get this sewn up and i'm not going to spoil it but it's a goodie so um, i'm going to get that sewn up this month well hopefully get this sewn up maybe this week so that um i can get that videoed and out there quite quickly because i was quite late with my last little miss so and so um vlog if you want to see my last month's little miss so and so vlog i'll link it up here um so yeah that i can't really tell you too much about the pattern but it's a pattern i'll tell you it's um a pattern company that i've never made before i have got their patterns but i've never made one so i'm excited to do it um and it's something that i haven't made many of so watch this space and the fabric is quite plain for me as well so that's another little teaser as well okay so on to my next plan my next plan is to use this fabric so i shared this fabric in a recent um social sewing um vlog that i did so it's um, a one-sided quilted fabric which is like um kind of a oh it's an outwear fabric um and i've got about oh, let's have a look I want to say just under a metre of this. It might just be a metre actually. I've got a metre of this. It's 150 wide. And I want to make the Higgy, and I might be saying this completely wrong, Higgy, Higgy, um, Waves and Wild Body Warmer for Alice. I'm going to make it without the hood with, um, and I'm not sure what the lining will be yet. I think the lining will just be um, maybe a, I've got a pink leopard print cotton that i think would be quite good as the um inside layer so i'm thinking a little body warmer for alice with no arms a little um cute little chunky zip up the front um, i've printed off the pattern for that and i think that'll be a nice make for me for alice for that transition into autumn so i'll put some pictures up of the higgy body suit but body warmer but yeah really really cute and i think that'll look gorgeous and also it's using up one of my fabrics that is um one of my fabrics that I got from the swaps table at my sewing social, so that's good. And then my final plan is to make a little set, a loungewear set, and the loungewear set is going to comprise of my new favourite t-shirt pattern, or one of my new favourite t-shirt patterns, the Spring in London um, tee, which is an off-the-shoulder um, t-shirt, which I absolutely love. So I want to make one of those and I also want to make a new pattern that I've purchased called the Walking Boldly Wide Leg Pants and it's a, um, a, a knit fabric pattern and they are absolutely stunning. They are from Pattern Emporium and the lovely Kate from Pattern Emporium has been um, showing all the different types of fabrics you can make these trousers up in she's done it in a ponty in a soft knit in a um, viscose jersey all different types and so I purchased this pattern because it was um had 15% off 
and I've got these this dream of a wonderful little loungewear set for wearing around the house and I'm going to make it in this I've got four meters of this fabric it's an ITY um, cotton jersey animal print and it is um it was from pound fabrics and it was really cheap it was like two pound fifty a meter but I've, i'm cho choosing this one because i've got four and a half, four meters of it and i'm going to make the off the shoulder spring in new york t-shirt with the wide leg bold wide leg pants and i just think that'll be a really cozy um transitional um loungewear set for lounging around the house in and obviously i work from home so you know just to get out of those pajamas and into something just as comfy for work um secret pajamas would be perfect so that's my plans for that and then if i like that i have dreams of making it in some soft knit as well like a you know a wool soft knit um or maybe a rib soft knit um because i think that'd be really nice so they are my firm plans for september so the one of the challenges that i'm going to be taking part of in september is the um hashtag the so safari 2023 that's being ran by sarah from super bells and the premise of that challenge is very simply to sew something in an animal print fabric now that can be have animals on it or just animal print so this fabric obviously will be entered into that my dressmaker's ball fabric will be entered into that and then also the fabric i'm thinking of lining this with is an animal print as well so i'll have three entries to that challenge now it wasn't really a stretch for me to um enter this challenge because pretty much i must make something with animal print in every single month i love animal print as you know so um it wasn't really a challenge as such I'm happy to support sarah in her first ever challenge that she's launched so congratulations and i can't wait to see all the mates i've already seen some people posting some already so it's dead exciting so yeah that's it for me not major massive plans for me this month because i want to keep it simple i want to focus on my dressmaker's ball dress and i also on my week off really want to do a d-stash so watch your space there should be some d-stash fabrics coming to you soon as well so look out for that okay that's it that's all from me for now i hope to see you soon have a great day and i'll and um, i'll see you next time bye <laughs>